Hello everybody and welcome once again to the health and fitness challenge. I'm reviewing Monday to Thursday this week. I'm a day behind. I was supposed to do this yesterday, but was a little bit busy. Uh, I've had a busy week. I'll go into that as we go through the challenge itself. But yeah, so we're reviewing four days. My aim this week is a seven day straight green run. Past couple of weeks, we've had a, the odd day where a red day slipped in. Last week we had the whole Chinese buffet and scenario. So this week I've got nothing planned, nothing in the way, no reason why I can't try and hit a complete and utter boom green week. So that's the goal. Have we slipped up already? Let's find out, shall we? Now I'm not going to go through the all every little minutia of my diet this time. I'm just going to pick out some key points and give you the facts and figures for the days. So Monday was uh, the usual breakfast of porridge pot, maple syrup, porridge pot with a cup of coffee, cup of coffee for my mid-morning snack. Uh, lunch was a sandwich in 50-50 Hovis bread, so 50-50 Hovis bread, a sliced bread, with some ham and cheese and beetroot, with a packet of crisps for, for lunch, reduced fat, uh, sour cream and chive crisps. Uh, I, I did exercise on Monday. I did Insanity Max 30 cardio challenge. That's my Monday routine. 450 calories burnt off for my evening uh, meal. Shepherd's pie. Mm, I think it's the first time I've had shepherd's pie during this challenge. It's one of my favourite dishes along with pasta. Do you like a good shepherd's pie? Tasty. Lamb mince. Some uh, little bits of veg in there. Nice mashed potato top. Grated cheese on. And a couple of Yorkshire puddings on the side. It was... Uh, rather tasty uh, 826 a bit of an indulgent dinner but sometimes it's nice to have those isn't it so uh, with the other snacks in between and a cup of coffee before bed with a milky way crispy roll as well that was my evening snack had a, i wanted something sweet before bed sometimes i have that urge i need something sweet so rather than having something too big like half a packet of biscuits i'll have a lower calorie chocolate bar or you know a small slice of cake or whatever portion control it Milky Way crispy rolls, which I, I've really loved since being really young. Only 128 calories uh, for, for for a Milky Way crispy roll, so it's quite a low calorie chocolate bar. So I had one of them with my cup of tea before bed. So that was my little treat to myself on Monday. 1932 calories consumed, 450 burnt off, which means 308 calories under for Monday. Bing, good start to the week. The sun is really shining, and my blinds are shut. There's nothing I can do about this. Other than get better blinds, you say? Possibly. Okay, so Tuesday. Tuesday, we start the day with a new breakfast. Never had this during the challenge so far. We've had porridge pots, we've had toast with scrambled egg on, we've had porridge pots and more porridge pots. And to, uh, on Tuesday, I had Crownfield Bixies, which is the little equivalent of Weetabix. I actually prefer Crownfield Bixies to Weetabix. I find they've got more substance to them. Uh, with uh, some sugar in and a cup of coffee. So it was a slightly different breakfast for a change. 341 calories. Now Tuesday was a really long day. Really long day was, was Tuesday. I was work. I started work at quarter past seven in the morning in Leeds, in my new normal office. Drove to Manchester for a meeting at 10 o'clock. I was stuck in a bit of rush hour traffic, so it was a long journey to get to the to get to Manchester for a meeting that started at 10. The meeting lasted all the way until 4.30 long meeting an important meeting a long meeting with managers and other colleagues um we had a working lunch i didn't take my own lunch which meant i had to buy my lunch which is always an issue because they're never good you know value when it comes to calories you don't get much calories for what you get if you start buying sandwiches and stuff from the supermarket i'd rather make my own but uh, out of laziness i thought i'll buy a sandwich when i get into manchester so I bought a roast chicken and stuffing sandwich, which was 411 calories in one sandwich. Uh, I had some Ribena and a grab bag Watsits. I haven't had Watsits for ages and I really like Watsits. And because it was a long meeting and my, the lunch was late, we had lunch around about sort of two o'clock. So I was quite peckish at that time and I ate the whole bag. And what did I tell you when I went for the Sainsbury's meal deal a couple of weeks ago? They, will, they all do grab bags. What is it? Just give me a normal size bag of Watsits, please. I wouldn't have eaten the, I wouldn't have eaten a bloody 100 max calories worth. I'd have eaten 99 calories worth. But anyway, 659 calories for a sandwich, a drink, and some crisps. That's a lot of calories for that little farting bit that you get. Contrast it with my evening dinner, which was 661 calories, which was a full stew with dumplings. Lamb stew with potatoes, swede, 
and, uh, and carrots with some nice gravy and a homemade dumpling. That was only 661 calories. And that was a far more filling and nutritious meal than a packet of crisps and a roast chicken sandwich which was full of fat. <sighs> you must remember to take your own food when you're out of the office. Okay, lesson learned. So that was my three meals. In, in between all of that, I had other stuff as well. Because I was late home, I didn't get home until quarter to seven. So I did an 11 and a half hour shift at work, which is unheard of in my new role. <laughs> um, and I was streaming at seven. So I got home, had a cup of tea, and then straight away within 15 minutes, I was streaming for you guys. So there was no chance to get any exercise done. So I had no exercise on Tuesday, but only ate 1785 calories. So I was five calories under for the day. Bing, bing, second green day consecutive. Wednesday. Oh yes, Wednesday. We fast forward to Wednesday. And Wednesday, I got a phone call, well not a phone call, but I got a WhatsApp message on Wednesday morning that football was cancelled. And now I was disappointed because Wednesday football is an hour and I burn off lots of calories, around about 700 on a Wednesday when I play football. So that was a bummer. So I had to do the exercise that I missed on Tuesday, which was Insanity Max 30 uh, to bar to strength. I did that on the Wednesday instead. So I burnt off 400 calories doing that, but it's not quite as intense, of course, as playing an hour's worth of football. But nonetheless, it's still exercise. So for breakfast, the normal porridge pot and golden syrup with a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee in the morning with 15 red grapes. A bit of food, a bit of uh, fruit in the old uh, morning snack now. Ooh, he's getting healthy. What is he doing? He's taking this thing far, far too seriously. Uh, for lunch, it was just a usual sandwich. Chicken breast slice sandwich with salad. Uh, in a brown bap and cheese and onion Seabrook crisps, which I find quite delightful. Uh, and then my evening meal was a southern fried chicken breast with half portion of chips and some vegetables with some cheese on, so cauliflower and uh, carrots with a bit of uh, grated cheese on and melted. And that was me. Uh, that was me dinner. And I, I think I had something else with the dinner, but I don't know what it was. I can't remember. I've got. I use quick. There's a function in my fitness pal to quick add calories. So if you can't find what you're looking for, if it's something that you can't quite calculate, you can just quick add an estimation of calories on there. Uh, I've quick added 150 calories with my dinner. Don't know what that was. Who knows? Forgotten by now. Uh, so that was that. Now I did have a rather interesting evening snack before bed. I had my usual cup of tea, fine. But I had stewed figs. Cut, sliced two figs, stewed them in a pan, a sprinkling of brown sugar and a couple of squirts of honey you know let them cook in the in the honey and the sugar to caramelize boom you've got yourself some lovely honey glazed stewed figs as a as a nice little snack bit different very tasty went down a treat so that was a a, a slightly interesting concocted dirt snack there so that was nice um, so all in all, across the course of the day, I consumed 1,958 calories and, can, uh, and burnt off 400. So I was 232 calories under for Wednesday, which bing, bing, means another green day. And that moves us on to yesterday, Thursday. So Thursday is a football day and it was a football tournament. It was the end of season football tournament, the cup plus the presentation. We'd already finished second in the league by one point this season, which was a little bit disappointing. So we were up for winning the cup to, to end the season on a high. So let's see how it went. But first of all, for breakfast, something different again. We've had, oh, we've had big seas now, and now, or yesterday, we had granola. Oat granola with a raisin. Quaker. Mm, very nice. Reduced fat as well. 30% reduced fat or something like that. Um, but what is interesting about that is weighing your food, really is quite an eye-opener. I'm doing it much more now on the challenge than I, have, than I have done in the past, but like my mum poured out a, potion, a portion of granola for me to take to work. Okay, now if you, if you picture a square tub, one of those clear square tubs with a lid, it was sort of three quarters full. There you go, there's your granola for the day, for, for your breakfast. I thought, let's just weigh that, because a portion size of granola is 50 grams, and granola is quite heavy, it's quite a dense cereal. So I took that under scales and put it in, 125 grams she'd weighed, she not weighed it out, she just poured it in. 125 grams, that's like two and a bit, two and a half portion sizes. So I weighed out 50 grams of granola to portion control. 
and that really wasn't much that really wasn't much it was like a, a quarter of a dish it was a tiny amount because of the denseness of granola so i had 50 grams of granola semi skim milk with a cup of coffee but it was still surprisingly filling though to say that i'd only had a very small amount of it i was still quite satisfied with it and it did take me all the way till lunchtime so yeah that was quite a big eye-opener when it came to weighing out the food the, the, the disparity in what my mother thought was a portion size to what actually was a portion size was quite stark opposite ends of the spectrum so that was granola for breakfast a sandwich for lunch brown bread with ham and salad and a packet of crisps nacho cheese dorito things max and spencer's own brand just little nacho tortillas with a bit of cheese and chive dip to dip them in very lovely and then i had my evening my afternoon snack to prepare for my football tournament bit of nutrition gonna give myself an energy boost for the football tournament had me egg medley so my boiled eggs my smoked paprika my turkey slices rather than ham this time my cheese grated cheese in the microwave melted it all down bit of mayonnaise to finish it off to mix it up and it's my egg medley smoked paprika on as well so uh, my smoked paprika egg medley was my football nutrition with a with a with a whey no with a cup of tea I had it with a cup of tea that didn't have any whey protein that day uh, so that was me that was me uh, football nutrition played football and you'll be pleased to know we did win the tournament we did win the cup so we did finish on a high i had oodles of energy again i think because of that egg medley i think that egg medley is a superfood man it really does every time i've had that egg medley before football i've had a great day uh, and this was no exception defended really well um, played really well and as a team we, we did a very very good job across the entire tournament which was five games um, we didn't concede any goals now as a defender I'd like to suggest that that was partly due to my staunch defending, you know. So uh, we did a very good job and it was a pleasing end to the day. And to celebrate, I was tempted to have a cider in the bar with my, with my, with my um, football colleagues, but I didn't. I had a glass of water. Very boring, but zero calories, of course. I then went home and had my evening meal, which was a mixed grill. A good old-fashioned mixed grill. A mashup of a variety of different things that sometimes you think, what the hell, they don't make they don't go together southern fried chicken breast left over from the day before there was one left half portion of chips or about 100 grams of heinz baked beans with grated with, with additional cheese put in so homemade cheesy beans a rasher of bacon and a sausage bit of a mismatch but tasty so that was my uh, evening dinner and then I finished it off to celebrate the football victory. My mum went to Darlington yesterday and she bought back three flapjacks. One was peanut butter, one was uh, cherry, and one wasn't a flapjack. One was a shortbread, uh, like, a, like a millionaire shortbread chocolate with a caramel shortcake thing. Um, that was uh, brought back from Darlington. So I said, you know what? I've won the, fo we've won the football tournament. I've, we've done really well. I'm going to treat myself to a third of a slice so i cut it in a third of the peanut butter flapjack not the whole lot which would have been about 350 calories no doubt i had a third of it and then i ate it like i did with the lemon drizzle cake a couple of weeks ago in a mindful manner enjoyed the flavor of the peanut butter the taste of the flapjack the texture just ate it nice and steadily and slowly and appreciated what i had what little of it i had with a cup of tea and it was more than enough to satisfy my little sweet tooth craving and only 150 calories rather than the whole shebangs if i'd had the whole damn lot so a very pleasing thursday as well which meant that 2179 calories consumed 408 calories burnt off across football tournament which was approximately 30 minutes worth of football so bing bong bing 19 calories under for the fourth day straight another green day so there you go folks bringing it in just about 15 minutes for four days worth of review that's not bad going at all so uh, yeah four days of green and still continuing to have these occasional snacks these occasional treats 
but you'll see that I'm also being very good when it comes to portion sizing. I'm turning down alcohol and having water. I'm cutting down granola portion size from 125 grams by weighing it out to 50 grams. And cutting down on calories consumed from flapjacks from having the whole thing to cutting it down to a third and eating it mindfully. So I'm just, these are just little tweaks and changes to my normal eating habits. I'm not changing the style of food that I'm having really. I'm just being a bit more sensible. And of course I've upped the exercise and that is what has been key for my success so far. Because I still feel like I'm not doing too much different. I'm still having my favourite foods. I'm having my shepherd's pie, I'm having my pasta, I've had a bit of flapjack, I've had a crispy roll and you know it's all great stuff. So uh, yeah, next video will be on Monday where I'll bring you the second half of the week in review along with the weigh-in for Monday to see how we get on and I'm also going to bring you some more uh, some more well-being stuff this time. It's been a little bit while since the last one but in terms of the well-being stuff the football is going well because I'm, again, because of the pre-football nutrition, I'm preparing for football much better now and that has really paid dividends. Over the past two and a half weeks we've been doing this, I've probably not had a bad football performance yet. I've had m m very good ones, a couple of above average but not, 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 not great. Um, but I've not come off a football pitch and thought I played crap there or, or I felt tired or whatever. I've, I've really been doing very well and I've put this down to this new sort of preparation. And the sleeping has been going absolutely marvellous. The sleeping methods, they're going to bed a little bit earlier, putting the old Marks and Spencer's vanilla bean candle on and just taking time to de-stress a little bit and just come to a sense of calm. I put my earphones in, put my meditation music and sounds on and then literally every night I've done that not every night I do it but most nights but every night that I've done it I'm out like a light within 10 minutes literally 10 minutes poof, that music that they may able to go in and boom I'm out like a light so I, f I feel like I've had good sleep so all in all as I sort of sum up my two and a half week experience with this challenge so far I feel great I don't feel tired um, I, I'm, I'm snoozing less when I come home from work and usually I fall asleep in my chair and I'm gone that's happening much less um, and uh, football is, is going much better. I, I'm feeling really good. So I think the overall package of everything that's going on at the moment is, is having some kind of positive effect on, on the overall health, which is certainly a, a massive, massive plus. Hope you are experiencing similar success as well. Keep me in the loop as usual. And until Monday, I'll see you soon.